All right, everybody, Jesse here with Camp Perspective, and today we're gonna go over the Dr. Dual Dial family system uh, and just explain what it can do. Uh, this is actually for a client uh, that just purchased this from us for their two dogs. So the Dr. Dual Dial has um, some variability to it in the sense that you don't have to just pair it to one specific collar, which was an issue in the past. Uh, so for example, if you had a Dr. 2300 and you got a second dog, uh, that dog, if you wanted a two dog system, had to be on the same uh, collar. So if you had like a 15 pound dog, uh, the dog 2300 would be too big for them. Uh, so if you had a dog that was 70 pounds and a dog that was 15 pounds and they're both on the dog 2300, the 15 pound dog would just have this enormously large collar on their neck. So with the dog's dual dial, it kind of helps fix that problem. So this particular dual dial is paired to two black edition collars. And this is paired as what I call a family system. Uh, it's two remotes, two collars, and both remotes have control over both dogs at all times, okay? This is the remote here. So the dog to a dual dial can actually pair to uh, a few different collars. It can pair to the IQ Plus or the Slash Mini, which is meant for the 15 pound dogs and under, those teacup sized dogs, the dog to 200 or 202C, and the dog to 280 and 282C, uh, which is meant for like a 35 pound dog and under the ARC and the 1900S and 1902S systems. Um, so if you have a large dog, for example, like a Roddy, that dog could be on the Black Edition. And if you had a little Chihuahua, that dog could be on the IQ Plus or the Slash Mini or even the 280C collars, okay? So you could have one remote paired to two dogs of varying sizes, uh, which gives us, uh, again, some variability there, okay? So the way this works as a family system is both collars are currently turned on is um, both remotes are paired so that dog one is going to be the front. So you can see when I press that pager, it gives a signal to the vibration, which is vibrating this collar here. Okay, there's the red light. Okay, so then on the side, this is dog two. Again, pager's on the bottom. If I vibrate, it vibrates the other collar. Okay, so here, uh, we have Nick continuous pager. Uh, Nick is momentary. It's a, it's a fraction of a second. Continuous is up to 12 seconds of continuous stimulation for as long as you hold it down for. And then P, of course, is a vibration. Uh, for dog one, the dial on the back, this is dog one. So this would be paired to this front side. And this side button here is paired to this, this side here. Okay. So if I, if I, so if this does, this is dog two. Here, if I hit the, for example, if I turn this up, you'll see dog two on the dial here going up. I'm at 20. So then if I press the neck function, you can see that it's turning on the light on dog two over here. And it even gives you a little uh, symbol on the front that tells you that you're stimulating dog two. Okay, so same thing over here. If I have caller one, that's the pager. And then if I turn this dial up, now it's set to 13. If I press the NIC function on the front, you can see I'm, I'm activating the collar here. Okay, so it's dog one. So then, uh, if the other person has the second remote, it's paired the same. This is, again, still dog one, and this is dog two. Okay, so it's, this is what we call the family, the family system. One thing to keep in mind, this happened to a client, is if you press the on button, so that blue button on the side okay if you press and hold it you're going to see that screen and it's going to turn off press and hold it it's going to turn that screen back on again okay so once you see the light you can let go of the button otherwise it'll go into a pairing mode and we've had clients accidentally unpair their collars so you want to be mindful of that uh, i do recommend reading your manual of course but if you just quickly press this button you can see that it actually turns off or, or dims the, the background light and then actually can completely turn it off. So we had a client accidentally double tap this and then thought that they had broken the, the screen here because the light wasn't turning on, but it turns out she had just accidentally double tapped on the side button here, okay? So the on and off button is also your screen button. It goes from bright to dim to completely off, okay? And if you touch it again, it goes back to bright again. So if you're out at night, and this is too bright, just press that once, you get a dimmer background light, and you press it again, it turns off completely, okay? Uh, I cannot see this without the backlight on, uh, so I'm not sure why that is, 
but the way they have it set, that's just what it is. So just be mindful of, of that. Otherwise, um, on the back, let's see here, there is a lock and unlock function. Uh, let me see. Okay, so the lock and unlock function actually uh, locks your setting. Okay, so if one dog, for example, dog two is at 25, we'll say, yeah, right there, 26, and your other dog is at, for example, 40. If I press this switch, now it's on lock, I'm not going to be able to alter the settings here. Okay, then if I click unlock, it keeps the same setting. And then right when you when you you adjust it, it'll actually spike up to where it's at currently on the system. Okay, so these go zero to 127 in increments of one. Um, I do believe that is all the functions of this. So we just want to be mindful that when we do turn off the, off the collar, right? We let that go once you see the doctor symbol. Then when we turn on the collar, I'm going to press. I see the light. I'm going to let go. It should just continue to power up, and then you see a power up. If you hold this too long and the light starts blinking, you now have it in a pairing mode. Just uh, uh, be mindful of that because we have had clients accidentally unpair one remote of the family system. And if you do that, you have to send it back to doctor again uh, to repair it as a family system. Unfortunately, we cannot do uh, family system pairings in-house. Uh, so for example, if someone bought this one remote and these two collars, I can do that for them, no problem. But if they do both remotes to both collars, I unfortunately cannot do that for them. So this is why for our clients, we of course, when they purchase the family system for us, from us, we send them the information, we send them the invoice, they pay for the invoice. Uh, we send the invoice with instructions with the system to doctor on behalf of our clients, letting them know like we need this paired as a family system, okay? So just be mindful that we don't accidentally put this into pairing mode when you're turning it on and off. It is in your manual, which is in, in, in the, um, uh, the box here. So just make sure you read your manual. But again, you're just holding on long enough so you see that screen. And then we go to power on, just so you see that green light. Then I remove my finger, and then I let it power up the rest of the way. We don't want to hold it until that starts blinking. Because if you unpair it, again, you have to send it back to Doctra, and they need the entire system. Doctra needs the entire system in order to pair it uh, as a family system. You cannot just send them one and then ask them to do so. Um, you can always call to confirm, but I'm pretty positive that's how it is. Uh, so that's just one little uh, nuisance with this system is if you put it in a pairing mode and then accidentally unpair it, you have to send everything back to Doctra to pair it again as a family system, okay? Otherwise, that's it. That's the tutorial over how this all works and then how the Dr. Dodao has the capacity to pair to several different callers.